Hato Moshanda Haya. So you see, you don't worry day and night over what people might do to you. You already know the rest of the picture. Your veil has been rent and you now see further down the road. Others, all they can see is the pit that their brothers sell them into. Like Joseph. Amen? But now, they see beyond the pit. They see even if they do that, Similar, something like that to me, God's going to get me out of that pit and he's going to have me ruling things before long. Hallelujah. Because I have purpose in me and I have destiny in me and I am not human. Hallelujah. I am a new man. Come on with me. Hallelujah. We're not just human. We are new man. Hallelujah. And we have in us a destiny. A throne room. Hallelujah. And we are seeing the thing John saw. Hallelujah. Except not just in the words of the scripture. We are seeing it in our midst. Hallelujah. A God that is upon a throne. Thunderings and lightnings and voices. Now, Sin now uh, Mount Sinai was to the people with the veil over their face was nothing but noise and fearful quakings and lightnings that caused them to run. But in Zion, it also has lightnings and thunderings and earthquakes. But instead of making us run, the veil is being taken off our eyes and we're starting to hear music. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We're starting to put sequences together now. We're not just hearing Pentecost, 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 Pentecost. <laughs> fly away, fly away, fly away, fly away, fly away. Now you try singing that all day long. Fly away, fly away, fly away. But we are starting to hear music, notes, sequences. I see the law. I see the prophets. I see Jesus. Hallelujah. I see the early church. I see the, uh, the downfall of the religious church into apostasy. I see uh, uh, God raising up uh, Martin Luther. I, I, I see God uh, causing the uh, outpouring of the Holy Ghost in, in, the, in the early 1900s. I see the raising up of latter rain. I see the movement of sons of God and of kingdom. I see the Feast of Tabernacles, the Feast of Passover, the Feast of Pentecost, the Feast of Tabernacles. It's singing to me. It's a sequence. Hallelujah. I'm putting it all in this right place. And it's not just notes thrown out there. It's notes that have an appointment. Hallelujah. In every sequence there is an appointed note to express exactly what the musician was to express hallelujah and God the, the great musician hallelujah has put every note in its right place and guess what you are you are a note hallelujah you are a pluck upon the string of God's guitar. Hallelujah. And when you put you and I together like we are in this assembly, folks, we start to make music together. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. Do your bless the Lord for that. That's why that door is sealed. That's why nobody can come through that door right now and sit in the midst of this people until they are prepared to become the note that God wants to play in this sequence. Hallelujah. But they are coming. Hallelujah. And when they start to come through that door, we are going to make even greater music. Hallelujah. Glory. Now God has put some diminishes in our midst, which I learned this morning was when you take a, a, away a note to make a chord. You might be playing a chord with all five fingers, four fingers and one thumb. <laughs> but if you take a one or two fingers off of that, you have a diminished chord that makes a different sound. And then if you want to augment it, you add to it again and augment it and give it another sound. Can you hear, can you hear me? Amen. We've had a lot of people come through these doors, stay a little bit, then go. 
Hallelujah. And God has diminishing and augmenting us and he is creating through the whole time that we have had the house of the Lord assembly in this building. All the people that have come, the conferences that we've held, it has all been a sequence of a song. Oh, and it's the Lord's song. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now, if I was out there beating the bushes, trying to plead and beg and advertise for people to come into this, guess what? It'd be my song. <laughs> It'd be my song, Clarence. Hallelujah. And this is what we try to do with our lives. We try to make our own music in our lives. I'm going to do this. Oh, I'm going to do that. Oh, I think I'm going to help God out if I do this. And it changes the whole sequence. My God. Hallelujah. Trust in the Lord. Let God add to you. Let God take away from you. Hallelujah. Let God play your music. Hallelujah. It's his song. Hallelujah. When I turned my life over to Christ, I no longer had a song. All I've been doing is living the song of the Lord. Hallelujah. And guess what? The redeemed of the Lord are going to sing his song. Now I have friends all over, ministry friends, you do, you have friends in this message, everybody that's ever been a part of your life, and they have all added their notes to you. But get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. Prepare yourself. Something's going to be done here in the very quick, uh, soon, hallelujah. You're going to start hearing a song that has never, ever, ever been sung before. And the reason why I can say that is because now the music is going to start coming from both sides of the river. Hallelujah. 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 It's going to be a song from the earth and a song from the heavens, hallelujah, from the visible and the invisible. And I tell you, when those notes start coming together, hallelujah, when both all of those uh, uh, precious musical sequences start joining themselves together, it is going to be an orchestra as the world has never heard before, hallelujah. It will be the, the appearing of the Lord Jesus Christ in his saints. Openly expressing the glorious throne room experience of light, music, and sound for all to see and all to hear. Hallelujah. Oh, we thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Do you hear that this morning? I hope that was coherent. Well, then turn with me to Hebrews 10. It says 19 and 20. Having therefore, brethren, boldness to enter into the holiest by the blood, the life of Jesus, by a new and living way which he hath consecrated for us through the veil, that is to say, his flesh. That's the reason why he couldn't stay in a body 2,000 years ago. That's the reason why he didn't set his kingdom up 2,000 years ago. By renting the veil of his own flesh, he has started the musical sequence that's going to tear the veil of all flesh. Hallelujah. The appearing of the Lord isn't going to be in Mount Olive. Over in a land owned now and run by the government of Israel. He's not going to split a mountain over there. And that's not where the, 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 the battle of the, uh, of the Antichrist is going to take place. That's not any of that's going to happen over there ge geographically or naturally. Naturally. 